Okay, okay, okay. So, this is a quick little video on how to install Boris' sound mod because people in my team speak keep asking me so desperately. Uh, basically, you go right here to this diddly darn link, download this, since I already have it, I don't need to, and as you can see here, Gaijin finally made it compatible with the launcher. So, ah, go to your War Thunder folder, sound, make a mod folder inside your sound. Once that's finished downloading, downloads, blah, blah, blah. I don't even have it anymore. It's on my desktop. Ah, BSM, blah, blah, blah. Drag all this crap in here, and you're done with that. Okay, now what you want to do? Uh, you come down here, config.blk. Now, go all the way down to your sound, and you want to make it look exactly like this. Yeah, exactly like this. And it should work perfectly fine. You save it, blah, close, close, now launch the game. If you haven't updated, make sure to update before doing all of this, or it won't work. Okay. That's just about it. Okay. Now let's get into the game. Alright, now that we're in game, I guess the best thing for you to do to test whether or not the sound mod is actually working is to test drive any tank. There's no sounds for aircraft yet, but any tank, any tank will do. So, the one that I like is the 88mm sound, because Boris did a very good job on this, and made them pretty different from the game itself. Also, new engine sounds, transmission, turning, whatever, you name it, he's got it. All these new ambient noises and stuff. All the good stuff. Now your game won't sound like crap. And the 88 won't sound like you're blowing through a pipe anymore. So, hope this was any any way helpful at all. Hopefully it helped people that didn't even slightly understand what was happening. And if you don't even care, then good enough. Good on you. You don't even need to watch the rest of the video. So, thanks so much for watching. I'll probably not see you next time because my channel is trash. So, thanks for watching.